Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Santiru Deja. I am working as Technical Architect SD4 at Adobe and here I present all the solutions of weekly contest 300. The first one that I am going to solve is number of people aware of the secret which is the toughest question of the contest. And if you are interested in looking out for the rest of the solutions, all of them are mentioned in the description below so do check them out. Now let's quickly move on to the presentation where I will be explaining the question as well as the test cases along with the algorithm so that you get a good hold of the underlying concepts. So let's get started. And in case you have any doubt apart from this question that you want to ask in general from me, then please don't forget to join the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded. Both the links are stated below. Now let's get started. Number of people aware of a secret lead code 2237. So let's try and extract the maximum out of the question. The question says on day one, one person discovers the secret. So this is a starting case where on day one, only one person knows the secret. What other constraint the question says, each person will share the secret with the new person every day, starting from the delay days after this, after discovering the secret. So you are given an integer delay. That means if you know the secret on ith day, then you can only act as the spreader of that secret on day i plus delay days. So I'll be talking about this equation in the next slide as well. But remember, if you are if you got to know the secret on ith day, then you can only act as a spreader of the secret after delay days. So on what day you can spread the secret, it would be starting from i plus delay days. Now let's walk through the third constraint. Each person will forget the secret, forget days after discovering it. So let's assume you discovered the secret on ith day you will be forgetting the secret after i plus forget days. So these are two important constraints that you need to remember for solving this question. Now it's time to join the dots. The requirement we have understood from the question, let's apply the dynamic programming algorithm for each day in order to identify the desired result. What I'm trying to say, let's walk through it. So I have created a DP array and this array would signify the number of people who found the secret on the ith day. It doesn't represent the total number of people that know the secret on the nth day. It represents the total number of people who found the secret on ith day. Remember, this is a very important thing. So uh, from the previous equations, what we could articulate, if a person got to know the secret on ith day, then he will be acting as a spreader for I, starting i plus delay days. Along with this, we understood that if a person got to know the secret on ith day, then he is going to forget the secret. He will not act as a spreader starting from i plus forget days. Now, if I ask you the number of new people that would be sharing the secret on ith day, what that value would be equal to, you need to go back i minus delay days in the past. So if you are at the ith day and you have a delay value, then what you need to do you need to go back i minus delay days somewhere over here in order to identify the number of folks who would be applicable for sharing the secret on ith day. So that value would be equal to dp of i minus delay. Now let's talk about the second equation uh, i plus forget that we talked about over here. If I ask you guys number of people forgetting the secret on ith day, what value that would be equal to? It would be equal to dp of i minus forget. So if you are at the ith day, then if I ask you how many people would be forgetting the secret on ith day, that value would be equal to dp of i minus forget. So you need to go back in the past number of people who will find the secret on ith day it would be equal to the number of people sharing the secret and that value would be come out to be equal to number of people who have who have known the secret so far plus number of new people sharing the secret subtracting number of people who are forgetting the secret so these number of folks will be act as a new spreader these number of folks we have to subtract because they are forgetting the secret and this is the crux of the problem how can we apply this to actually find the solution let's walk through the next example so here the value of n that is given to us is 6 the value of delay is 2 and forget is equal to 4 on day 1 uh, only a knows the secret and let me just write it over here that 
one pe- person knows the secret and then that person is a the number of people sharing the secret is in each slice to zero now let's get started with day zero up till day six and we will be calculating the number of folks who will get to know the secret on each day the number of new folks so let's get started and starting from day two uh, value of i is right now day two so let's go back to the previous equation and let's use this formula number of people sharing the secret so how many people are sharing the secret zero folks are sharing the secret number of people forgetting the secret so how many days do we need to go back i minus 4 which is beyond the limit it's minus 2 so number of people forgetting the secret is also zero number of people new people sharing the secret is also zero as a result of which no new person will get to know about the secret so the value stays as zero and this was in sync with our expectation why because for a to act as a spreader it will take a delay of two days let's proceed ahead so now the value of i happens to be 3 and let's use the same formula again number of people sharing the secret it is 0 a is has started acting as the spreader so what do we need to do we need to go 2 days back so i minus 2 which gives us 3 minus 2 is 1 so let's go back what is the value here the value is 1 so 0 plus 1 and let's calculate the number of people forgetting the secret that would come out to be i minus 4 which is minus 1 so dp of minus 1 is 0 so let's write 0 and this as per this equation the value turns out to be 1 that means one person will get to know about the secret on third day and which is in sync with our expectation because a will be telling the secret to b on third day so let's write b over here let's proceed ahead the let me just change the color of pen and the value of i happens to be 4. So let's use the same formula and remember the number of people sharing the secret has been updated to 1. The same value that is held over here. So it, the number of people sharing the secret is 1 plus the number of people uh, who will be forgetting the secret. Let's calculate that up. So 4 minus 4 is 0. So dp of 0 is 0. So let's write 0 over here. So this becomes minus 0. And number of pe- new people sharing the secret that would turn out to be 4 minus 2. So number uh, 4 minus 2 is 2. So dp of 2 is 0. So this also turns out to be 0. So the value comes as 1. And it is in sync with this with our expectation. Why? Because on the fourth day, A will be the only person who will be spreading the secret. B still can't spread the secret because he has to abide to the rule of delay of two days as a result of which a will be telling the secret to c on the fourth day let's proceed ahead and let me just change the color of pen we have i as five the value of number of people spreading the secret would be is equal to one so let's apply the same formula one plus uh, i minus delay what is the value of i Uh, value of i is five five minus 2 is 3 so let's go back to this equation and the value over here happens to be 1 so this turns out to be 1 and what will be subtracting number of people forgetting the secret 5 minus 4 is 1 uh, so dp of 1 happens to be 1 and let's write 1 over here so this e- equates to 1 plus 1 is 2 2 minus 1 is 1 so the answer here becomes 1 that means only one person will get to know about the secret on fifth day and let's check whether in sync with our expectation or not what is actually happening in the background a is forgetting the secret because uh, four days have passed since a got to know about the secret and that's why we have written minus one over here so a will not be spreading the secret who will be spreading the secret only b will be spreading the secret and b will tell the secret to d so d will get to know about the secret why b and c is still in the uh, delay period he cannot act as a spreader so, so far, A has forgotten the secret, B has communicated the secret to D and C, uh, C is still in hibernation. It is waiting for the delay to get over. Let's proceed ahead to the last day, which is I equals to 6. So, let me write I equals to 6 and let's apply the same formula. The number of people sharing the secret is still 1. So, let's write 1 over here and 
uh, let's calculate use the same equation that we talked about let's go back to i minus delay so what is the value of 5 value of i is 6 6 minus delay is uh, 6 minus 2 is 4 so let's check what is the value over here the value is 1 so let's write 1 number of people forgetting the secret i minus forget so 6 minus 4 happens to be 0 so let's write 0 over here so this equation turns out to be 2 and as per this the number of people who will get to new people that will get to know about the secret is 2 which is in sync with our expectation why i am saying this because b will be telling the secret to e and c will be telling the secret to f as uh, c's hibernation period is over two days have passed and b has still not forgotten the secret he got to know the secret of on third day and he will be remembering this uh, up till sixth day he will be forgetting the secret on seventh day as a result of which b has communicated the secret to e and c has communicated the secret to e and these are the two values that represents it nobody has forgotten the secret uh, because dp of 2 was 0 and we can say that d is still in hibernation so the value is 2 over here which is in sync with our expectation number of people sharing the secret gets updated to to 2 for rest of the operations in case it exists for the future values of i which is not in this case the maximum number of days that we need to calculate was 6 now comes the most interesting part so let's re-evaluate the dp array that has been generated and dp of 1 is 1 dp of 2 is 0 dp of 3 is 1 dp of 4 is 1 dp of 5 is 1 and dp of 6 is 2 so what we can say on the first day one person will get to know about the secret on second day zero persons will get to new persons will get to know about the secret on third day one one new person will get to know about the secret on fourth day one person have found the secret on fifth day one person have found the secret and on sixth day two persons have found the secret now if i ask you guys how many people in total know the secret at the end of six days what would be the answer it would be equal to the number of people who got to know about the secret starting from the third index up till the sixth index so if we sum these up then this will give us the desired result and why have i chosen the third index so what do you need to remember you need to remember this number of people forgetting the secret on the ith day it is i minus forget so you need to jump back up till the i minus forget days and add one to it why because the previous number of folks will not be contributing to the answer because they have already forgotten the secret on the sick up till the sixth day as a result of which we will be tot totaling those people who got to know about the secret starting from i equals to three up till i equals to six and that would turn out to be 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 2 is 5 and what is the expectation over there what are those folks it is b c d e and f which is in sync with our expectation the a, the a person has already forgotten the secret so this represents a as a result of which we have not added this up in our final answer again this was expected and this is what we did to conclude it further let's quickly walk through the coding section and the coding part is not that tricky however this is a difficult question and it's slightly difficult to come up with the, this kind of an approach in the interview as well so the time complexity of this approach is order of n and the space complexity of this approach is also order of n because we are created a dpra without further ado let's walk through the coding part and here i've created a dpra i've taken the mod variable i've taken a variable number of people sharing the secret and moving ahead i've also created a variable ans and as per the question day one only one person knows the secret so i've initialized dp of one to one and let's start the iteration starting from i equals to two up till i equals less than equal to n number of new people sharing the secret it would be equal to dp of i minus delay and uh, i have taken the math value so as to uh, avoid negative scenarios where i minus delay goes in negative let's proceed ahead the number of people forgetting the secret it would be equal to dp of i minus forget and number of people sharing the secret would be equal to a number of people sharing the secret plus number of new people sharing the secret minus number of pe pe people forgetting the secret 
and plus mod mod has been done in order to avoid overflow conditions or, or underflow conditions let's proceed ahead and once we have identified this value we assign it to dp of i that means these number of people will be sharing the secret and it would be equal to number of people who will be finding the secret on i s day once we have appropriately built the dpra we start the iteration from i minus forget plus 1 days for the same reason i talked about in the presentation up till the i s day we will be adding those up and we will be simply returning the result so let's try this up accepted the time complexity as i have already talked about is order of n and the space complexity is again order of n with this let's wrap up today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates on coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question thank you take care